I literally need someone to do my videos. I don't know how people stay so still. Is there like a stick or something you put it on? I'm kind of like a swayer rocker anyways, like walking. Like This is a lentil soup I made. I added uh, a few, like the small piece of garlic. Okay, so of a bulb, then there's probably three or four of them in here. Not big size. Um, the bulb and then the clove, yeah. And then the carrot, lentil, a flake, maybe a teaspoon of lemon. It's actually really good. The broth I made. Uh, now we're going to look at the dinners, the dinner for food. Oh, that's great. So we found that. So we don't even drink Coors Light, by the way. I, um, I don't like dishwashers. I don't like blenders. I don't like um, disposals. Um, okay. And I wanted to show you some dishes I got at a resale shop once. They were highly discounted. They've been around a while with us now and we're, Jesse was, you know, getting bigger and I tend to be clumsy sometimes. So I would just buy stuff where maybe we were missing a couple, but then when he went through like that middle age, um, going into like early early uh teenage and I was really extra clumsy um it's in I think the labels already it didn't have as many nicks this was made in the USA quite some time back I thought this was Vera before Vera but but I mean you guys I didn't even pay I, I mean because there was like a cup or something missing it's a really cute set. I, I, I can't get rid of it. Like I would probably maybe go in and, and, uh, fill this in. Okay. So what I did is I made a lentil soup. I'm going to say it one more time. This is a cup of lent dried lentil, fresh carrot, uh, vitamins and helps with parasites. That's why I give it to the dogs helps with the uh, parasites for people and other antioxidant qualities. And then the lentil is protein and uh, fiber. And then I only used water. I didn't use like a canned broth or anything. So I have four cups of water, some teaspoons of lemon and some like Italian herb paprika. I didn't have an onion right now. So I did a little onion powder some black pepper ground in and sea salt. <clears throat> we only get the stuff we can grind up because it's just better that way. And we don't eat uh, the iodized, like the one with the girl with the umbrella on the container, but we do keep that salt around for cleaning and stuff for stuff. Now we're going to get to the dog stuff because in the trail, and I don't know, who knows where it was, someone started the rumor that I poisoned my dogs because they saw me apparently giving them medicine. It's just what, it's just what stalkers do. Now this is going to look gross now because it's been sitting here for a minute and they're like, what is she doing? Okay, I don't spend like thousands upon thousands of dollars on dog food when I see what my dogs eat outside. Um, and there's dog dogs, good luck controlling that, especially any kind of hunting breed. So I gotta get to the sunroom again and get it cleaned up. And we thought Hip was firstborn, so we feed him first, but at this point I wonder if Poe was. Uh-uh, 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 what are you doing? They had an argument, so they'll start having stuff over food and stuff. For just a minute. Like, who knows what it was over? Something dumb. So we took a walk this morning. So this is who we order from. 
And no, I don't poison my dogs with earth gray diatomaceous clay. Thanks, though, for that, whoever started that fun one. This is going to be, now I believe there is a different one that would say a farm animal grade at a farm store. You know, I don't know anything about that. Either A, someone re recommended this company, or we happened to stump on it, and it was a great stumping because when we lived in more close quarters where you have more people condensed, more animals, more traffic, more uh, more criminals that will hurt your animals. And, and it, like I said, if you got dogs that get into stuff, oh, for God's sakes, bunnies and stuff, oh, Lord, you got to keep this in their food or you're going to be dealing with parasites and having to go to the vet. And then they give you medicine that's bad for the dogs. And then they're doing, you're putting your dog on this and then you're putting your dog on that. I'm telling you what, this, this here, all your animals and you, the catch is though, when you guys all first start on it, especially if you're human, you don't go quick on it. If you're needing it and you need the cleanse, you're, you could cause yourself a detox. That's what happened to me. It was a real quandary when we first got this for me. I was just going into where there was these severe migraines. We didn't know what was going on. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't smoking. I was trying my best to be good. Uh, I cut back the tobacco. I don't inhale the tobacco. And we tried to just stick with cleaner tobacco. Is And if children watch, I mean, there's no point in even doing that. I'm going to get in trouble because of my mouth. And sometimes stuff gets seen and like bottles and whatever and I we just I need to just I guess put it back on adult grade shows. So now the price is obviously since we found this company and then with all the KUKA stuff going on all the time. So we would have found this back at the double wide because I was like, I don't know what they're getting into, but this is insane. We were doing a lot more forest walks then. Like I said, I think it's just when you're in close quarters with a lot of people. And then other people don't have their animals parasite. And then you got uh, more roaming cats and stuff that are feral. And that were tossed out or, you know, who knows? So they're going to be full of parasites. And you're like, is that all she does is think about parasites? No. But what I do know is when I started to do par regular parasite control... Uh, daily even like I'm probably going to start it up a little bit again I don't feel like I have any but I could but because we always do the garlic and the carrot um, carrots are a mainstay for me garlic onion those are also helpful in that type of stuff and there's other things too but this is like it's going to save you so much veterinarian stuff and I'm having to keep going to back to the pet store to try this parasite control formula it costs too much money you can take this and put this in your diet with them and you slowly and you, you dose it upon the size of your animal. I give them only one teaspoon a day or what is it? It's like, I'm going to say it's like, I think I actually had a family member, John's sister. Someone was saying I was poisoning the dogs. It's really sad when I hear these things. I don't know. It's like this. I remember my phone's never right. And there's no, like, I could put it into a teaspoon, but I'm going to say it's about a tablespoon, a little less than a tablespoon. This looks, makes it look real big. It's not, this is just a small scooper. This will help with cats immensely. Cats notorious because what are they? They're little rodent hunters, most likely, if they're allowed to be cats. And dogs are what? Dogs, if they're allowed to be real dogs. Um, and this is probably going to trip people out. Is um, I get kind of leery of people that have dogs. Now, you don't have to live in the hair like I do. I've just had dogs for so long. It's like you could be cleaning dog hair all day, every day, and not get anything else done. And I just try to do sections when I can and keep stuff, you know, most areas where we, we are all at the same time more, more with the hair, but I could be sweeping and all that every single day is, uh, if you have cats and you're rescuing cats, this is going to save you so much money and you can get them in a lot bigger bag. 
This saved us from, in, from so many instances of doctor bills for ourselves. I was doing baths on it um, and things like that. To, you can pull stuff out of your skin, like metals and things. And it really started to help us. Um, I always did feel bad. Jesse hated it, but it was like, honey, I just, I don't know. I mean, that was his thing, but I, I do know I felt he needed this because he was a hunter and he has always been around animals and stuff too. But that's where we were messed up. So he wasn't going to li listen to nothing ever from anybody, especially me. And so we just had to just whatever. Okay, if you want to be sick and your stomach all tied up, have fun. You're not shitting right. I don't know what to tell you. So um, what I'm going to do next is technically i got to go get the hens and the turkeys out. Is I'm going to make the electrolyte drink. These are getting a little weird on the outside, but that doesn't go in there. I'm just going to squeeze them. And that's about it. Love you. Have a good one.